teenagers writing threatening posts on social media or making hoax calls to schools. They've become familiar headlines to us. Yeah, just this school year. Scarlett Lizjack explains how social media is influencing the amount of school threats we're seeing these days. It starts online. It's become easier to take a picture of a weapon on Snapchat. We live in a day and age where uh, students, especially, they're going to want to document what they're doing. Once it's out there, that information spreads. Then the picture starts to get circulated around school, and then it becomes a school threat, being is that it's based in the school arena. Whether credible or a joke, what's posted online is taken very seriously. So then we will go into procedures such as lockdown, that potentially we wouldn't have in the past based on the fact that maybe it's an individualized threat. We would have searched that person for a weapon and we would have handled it accordingly. Now with the prevalence of social media, we have to take precautions. Every threat is thoroughly evaluated, thoroughly investigated, and we, we do procedures such as lockdown uh, just so that threat doesn't um, escalate to something worse. And there's more and more of these cases turning up on law enforcement's desks, but for a reason you might not expect. We're investigating more of them but I don't know if there's more threats. There's just a higher volume and um, a different method of reporting them than there have been in the past. And that is helpful to law enforcement and school districts because students are the eyes and ears of the school. Through it, Farmington Municipal Schools, we have an anonymous reporting system, but I think students have become comfortable with reporting threats, um, whether they see something or hear something, and which is what we want. They hear more, they see more. Um, we have a lot, we have 11,000 students, and so when they they see things or hear things that are out of place, we, we need them to speak up. The most recent school threat in San Juan County occurred on Monday after alleged threats were circulating on social media. The Farmington and Navajo Police Departments are actively investigating and one arrest was made. Scarlett Jack, KB4.